Hello, um, this is my final assignment, so that's exciting. Um, I'm just going to be reading off of this little questionnaire you gave us here. Um, so what presentations did you feel the best and why? Um, I liked the one where we explained a topic to someone just because it felt um, like something I would actually be doing. Um, and it's something that I obviously cared about, or at least enjoyed doing, because I picked it. So that's the one I liked best. Um, redo, probably the first one we did, because I thought my voice sounded weird. But maybe that's just my voice. Um, what are two things you learned about presenting to an audience, and why do you feel they're important? Um, confident. Always um, be... Confident, but not cocky, I guess. Um, but just stand up straight. Don't lay in bed like I am now. Um, or sit up straight if you're sitting down. And then also just um, don't be scared. People aren't going to bite your head off or anything like that. Um, it can be kind of nerve-wracking, especially if you're talking to... Someone like I talked to my boss today about getting a, a raise and it was kind of nerve wracking. Like I knew he wasn't going to fire me for asking for a raise, but it's still, uh, it's still kind of nerve wracking. So try to, try to push those nerves down deep inside of you. Um, what's one piece of advice that you give to people regarding presentation visuals? Um, get good at pointing, I guess. I've always wanted to be better than that uh, than I am. So, like, if you're pointing at something over there or there, get good at that. Um, and, yeah, always have them ready so you can just grab them and not, like, have to go out of frame to do that. Um, one piece you'd give to others on dealing with nervousness. Um, kind of like I said before, they're not going to, bite your head off, um, but, I mean, you can't expect no nerves to be there at all, so, you kind of got to live with it in some sense, at least for me, that might be different for someone else, um, one piece of wisdom, on using a webcam for school and professional communications, um, for school, make sure it's actually on, uh, video, I probably have a bunch of random pictures of me on here, because I click the video button. Well, I clicked the picture button, but I think it's a video button. Um, make sure it works before you start to, especially in, uh, in a school presentation or in a work presentation or communication. Also, I try to do this the best I can, but look at the camera like I am now, not like, or not at the viewfinder like I am now. Um, so like, this is usually where my viewfinder is, and you can probably tell I'm not looking at the camera like I am now. So I try to do that, and I try to be very cognizant of that, and I think I'm decent at it. Um, what was one lesson you learned from the swinging pig, singing pig assignments? Um, you're not going to like someone um, at your work, so if you don't feel like you can deal with it, just go talk to someone about it and realize that especially with anger, they might not be mad at you. They might be mad at, you know, I don't know, their wife yelled at them this morning or their husband yelled at them this morning. They might be mad at that, not necessarily at you. Um, one thing you'd like to work on regarding oral and interpersonal communications in your personal, professional life, sorry. Um, I would say, uh, I don't know, my tone of voice and my my filler words like 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 um or um like I just said um I feel like those become so deep into the back of your brain that you don't really even know you're saying them. So I mean even if you do a I've seen stuff where people say don't say um but explain this, and they're like, um, 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 so I don't think you're aware of that you're saying it, but I think that I need to work on that.
so that's it for this final presentation. There's no final exam. That's awesome. Um, thanks.